One of the first things I wanted to do in pre-production was find a really great visual artist, a painter, because Adam's art is such a character in the story. And I was lucky to meet this amazing Atlanta-based artist named William Downs. Just instantly fell in love with his work. It has this incredibly distinctive, kind of loopy, strange, kind of disturbing, but comical, fascinating shapes. And his art instantly felt like what I saw as kind of the tone of the movie. It's kind of like this dreamy feeling, so it, it gives you that kind of creepiness. And I think a lot of the scenes in this movie kind of fit that tone. And one of the things we really tried to do was show the growth of Adam's character through the expansion of his art and the expansion of his artistic ambitions. And then as the movie progresses, by the end he's working on this kind of monumental mural. I'm bringing in different sections and I'm moving them around on the page so that when the director comes in, he'll have a choice of which mural looks the best. And in working with William Downs, we really tried to have the work go from something a little bit more kind of traditional and almost academic painting into something that really incorporated some of William's own unique, wonderfully bizarre style. Uh, and I think that really conveyed the sense of Adam's work not growing just in physical scale, but also growing in its individuality and the, the clarity of its voice. I wake up every night thinking about my work being in this film, and I think it's going to be really amazing. Thank you.